Hey Hodies, well, welcome to my channel. My name is Hope Mess Tom and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Westman Atelier Vital Pressed Skincare Powder. If you are new here, my channel is normally about just loving my makeup collection as it currently is, but every now and then there's a makeup release that sparks my interest so much that I want to purchase it. I'm currently budgeting, I'm not trying to bring in everything into my collection all the time. I don't only exclusively review newness here. It's a lot about loving what I already have. So that kind of content sounds good to you. I would love to have you subscribe and stick around to see what else I'm about. If you want to do Critical Sass live with me, which is where I talk about new makeup releases and we trash talk and it's a lot of fun, I'm going to be doing Critical Sass live this Wednesday, August 31st at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I would love to see you there. Please make sure you like this video before you leave it and I'm also on patreon.com if you would like to support me there. This is my last plea, or one of my last pleas here on my channel. If you haven't voted for me for Best of Pittsburgh, now is the time. Voting closes on August 31st at midnight Eastern Standard Time. I'm nominated in three different categories, Best YouTube Account, Best Lifestyle Influencer, and Best Thirst Trap. There's a link in the top of my description box. If you click through, you can vote for me that way. I would really appreciate it if you do it, if you haven't already. But if you've already voted, thank you so much. That really means a lot to me, and I really appreciate it. Let's get into the West Minute powder. Here it is in my divine little hands. Whenever I'm, this is my first time reviewing something other than a foundation in like in depth. I mean, other than foundation and eyeshadow palettes, I've not done like a whole review about powder. So I thought about how I would want to hear a review. And so hopefully you appreciate it. I always like to know why someone buys something, especially when there's someone like me who doesn't buy new releases all the time to review on their channel. And I don't think that there's not value in that, by the way. I'm just saying that that's not what I do because I would like to have a realistic collection for myself to also promote that to people who watch my channel. That's why I do it that way. Let me break down why I bought this and why I decided that this was a good thing for not only for me to try, but also for me to review on my channel and how it kind of aligns. I already kind of like the brand Westman Atelier. I don't have a lot from them, but I do have a blush and I do have one of their stick highlighters. And I really like those formulas. I think that Westman Atelier has very alluring packaging and also shades whenever they make like color products. I do think that they lack in foundation ranges. I'm going to just say that straight up. I think that their blushes are really interesting. And what I have noticed about what I've used from Westman Atelier is that it's really performance based, but for the everyday person. I think a lot of the times when we watch people on YouTube, whenever they are using things, a lot of those people like a lot more makeup than the everyday person does. And I think Westman Atelier really makes makeup for the day to day that's really easy to use really foolproof and you're not going to apply too much of it ever. And so that's like always the allure. I'm always going to be interested in something that Westman Atelier puts out in some capacity. Whether or not I buy it is a different thing. At the end of July, I wasn't feeling really inspired by any makeup releases and I actually asked my patrons what they thought they would be interested in hearing me talk about. Now when I make a purchase with my budget, it has to also be something that I'm interested in as well. So I listed a couple of things and then many of them said the Westman Atelier powder. And so it was one of those situations where like the patrons and myself were really aligned and curious and wanted to know more about this powder. So that is why I purchased it to review. Let's do a little bit of a rundown about the product itself. It's vegan, cruelty free. It is certified clean at Sephora. If you use clean at Sephora to decide whether or not you think something is clean. I don't subscribe to Clean Beauty I'm just saying that to you in case that's something you were interested in. Westman Atelier does sell itself as a clean brand. So that's just something to know if you didn't already know that. The product itself is $75 and you get five grams of product. I'm going to read some claims from the brand to you so that we can know what we're supposed to be getting ourselves into. Oxidant rich potency packed. We've micro milled active skincare ingredients into a powder that does more than just set. Ultra sheer feathery light. This powder instantly smooths pores, evens tone, sweeps away shine. A defense shield complex made with vitamin C and probiotics shields the free radicals while protecting from blue light. Over time, Preston actives help control sebum and refine skin texture. Works like makeup, acts like skincare for the ultimate. How is my skin this good effect? That's what the brand is promising. I got the shade Trans translucent. That is the one that like looks white in the pan. So this is what it looks like in the pan. Whenever I do my foundation reviews, I like to really deep dive into the ingredients. And so I did that. But 
This is my first time looking at a powder's ingredients. So I don't know what's normal and what's not because I haven't done this before. It, as I review more powders in the future, I will be able to clock the differences between the formulas. But one thing of note at the, is that this is talc free and that's one of the big selling points about it. A lot of people aren't looking for talc to be in their powder products. Whatever your opinion on talc, that's kind of research that you're gonna have to do on your own and you have to come up to that conclusion by yourself. But this formula does boast that it is talc free. I always like to try to clock whether or not there's like a controversial ingredient in a product. And when I say that, I just mean like things that people are gonna have a strong opinion about. So like whenever I'm reviewing foundations like alcohol and I'm never trying to call out ingredients in a fear mongering way. I'm just here to tell you that like perhaps this is an ingredient that concerns you. But I always do encourage you to look at ingredients because you know yourself the best, you know what you're trying to avoid and you know what you're concerned about and I can't make that call for you. I'm only just saying like these are ingredients that I know that people are either interested in absolutely being in their product or absolutely trying to avoid and those are the kind of ingredients that I like to call attention to. This powder has a lot of humectants and a lot of emulsifiers. If you don't know what a humectant is, humectants essentially grab moisture from the air and push it into your skin. It like is grabbing moisture from the air to make your skin more moisturized. So it's really good for people with dry skin. A lot of humectant greens, glycerin is a really popular humectant that you find in a lot of products and emollients. So emollients are things that feel and like spread and help the spread typically lending itself to a more moisturized looking finish, a more glowy finish, which is really interesting to note that those are the kinds of ingredients that appear in this product because I will note that later on when I'm discussing my experience with it. Let me just talk about the packaging a little bit. I'm gonna hold it in my hands, but I'm gonna show you some close-up footage while I'm discussing it. The packaging is beautiful. Gold packaging, it's extremely weighted. It feels really good in the hands. While you may feel however you feel about paying $75, there are often times when I buy something that is priced at a luxury price point and then whenever I get it in my hands, it doesn't feel super luxury. I don't think that this happens with this product. Like you paid $75 for it and it feels like packaging that you should be paying $75 for. So super weighted. We do run into a problem when you try to open it. There's not enough lip on the clasp to be able to pull it open. It's magnetically clasped. I have to push my nail to break the tension of the magnet to be able to open the product. That's a pretty big bummer for me. I like to paint my nails. I don't want to fear them chipping when I'm opening my powder. So that doesn't feel very good to me that that's something that happens whenever I am opening this. And it also doesn't feel super accessible to me. I am not the be all end all word on accessibility. For this to be this hard to open, I imagine people who have maybe some fine motor issues might not be able to get this open. The other thing is if you use your hands to do your makeup, they might be a little bit slippery. And so there's like kind of nothing to really grip onto on this compact. It's very smooth, which I think is like very pretty to look at, but it's like not giving me anything to be able to like pry this open any easier. I imagine that would be a pretty big deal breaker for some people. But once you do get the product open, you have this beautiful white outer rim that is really pretty in contrast. This does come in some other shades as well. In case you are worried that the translucent shade is not going to be universal enough for you, there I believe are four or five other shades of this product. I will note that on the screen. And that's about it for the packaging. Let me just tell you a little bit about my experience with this. I've been using it for about a month. I do my makeup maybe three to four times times a week depending on what I'm doing outside of recording but I do mostly do my makeup for recording. The product behaves kind of just as how I was expecting it to. I'm kind of expecting it to be really easy to use but like not actually super powdery and I don't know how else to describe it other than that was what I was experiencing. Like I wasn't expecting to get a fully matte experience whenever I was using this product. Oftentimes that's not what I'm looking for. I'm really only looking for matte whenever I am like going out and I need my makeup to last like a really long time and I want it to stay perfected. That's the only time I really ever leave my house truly looking matte because I know over time that the oils in my skin are going to like bring the life back to me. But I knew that this product wasn't going to behave like in that truly mattifying feeling very like very much like a traditional setting powder and it doesn't. The powder goes on, it feels light as air as you are applying it. it does blur it does make your skin look incredibly perfected not the most perfected and I'll talk about that in a little bit I think the true magnificence of it is like you put it on and 
it does set a little, but it still keeps whatever life your skin has underneath it. So let's say you're using some kind of complexion product underneath it that is super glowy. When you apply this powder, it's not gonna diminish that glow at all. It really preserves the makeup underneath that you are setting without compromising its true finish. Because I think a lot of the times when we are applying powder, you kind of lose the true finish of the product that you have underneath it. And this product doesn't do that at all. All. I didn't find myself getting really much of a white cast from this product, so the translucent one works for me. I know that there are some other colors to play with, but I don't think that I would ever really fuss with the colors. I don't think it adds that much coverage for me to warrant that. But I do think if you have a deeper complexion, like a deep or a tan complexion, you would probably want to go with one of the ones that's a little bit deeper. It started raining. It was so sunny. It just started raining out of nowhere, so you might be getting some rain a ASMR, and you're welcome for that. I am concerned that perhaps the power might go out while I'm recording. I don't have the most finicky electric, but it does sometimes happen. Anyway, apologies for that. Let's get back to the powder. <laughs> So the power did go, the power did go out and then lightning struck like I swear to god right outside of my house it was so bright and so loud and literally when that lightning hit all of the power came on flashed on for a second so I guess I'm just gonna have to like put this on hold until this is over. <laughs> okay, I don't know how much time I'm going to have. I'm sorry if I feel like I'm rushing through this, but I I do want to get this video done, and I also want to not have the power go out while I'm talking again. This stressful business. Another thing I noticed about when I was using this powder was if I was just using this powder all on its own, then I didn't need to use setting spray. It did not suck out so much moisture that I felt like I needed to meld everything into the skin with a spray. That's either a bonus point for you or not. I like spraying my face, so it's fine whether or not I have to or not but there were times where I used this powder and I did not spray my face and that's always like really a part of my routine. I did want to take a moment to compare this to the Chantecaille Perfect Blur finishing powder that I have. It's something that's a very big staple in my collection. If you are new to my channel I basically use it and talk about it all the time and I've even like done a video in the past called Battle of the Blur. When I compare these two powders there's no comparing blurs from the West Metelier to the Chantecaille. The Chantecaille is really really finely milled in like a very special way. Almost doesn't even feel like a powder like it does on your fingers but I just feel like it doesn't look like a powder in the pan it has like I don't know it's just like very finely milled and it really gives your face the blur I actually really like to use them in tandem I will say the Chantecaille is a little bit more powdery and I do think reduces shine more than the West Atelier. so when I do use them in tandem I do like to use the setting spray the West Atelier powder is interesting because it's it doesn't feel as finely milled but it feels more for lack of a better term like moist not like wetness in a way that I feel like it's moldy but it just has a little bit more moisture and that makes a lot of sense because I talked a little bit before whenever we were discussing the ingredients a little bit how there are a lot of emollients in this product and so it just makes a lot of sense based on the finish that it gives you and how you don't really feel like you need to spray your face. I will say, I don't really know, this might be just because of the products that I've used with it. It's not like hard panning or anything. The powder does just like look a little bit weird. Yeah, <laughs> not like in a gross way, but like I think probably just because this is white, I see some like foundation in there. And it doesn't look like anything like harmful but just something to note. I, it's like not, I'm not saying that to like downgrade it or anything like that. I have tried both buffing this into the skin and using a fluffier brush. When I use the Chantecaille, which is like the powder I use the most on my channel, I use this to buff it into the skin and you've seen that in the footage I showed you earlier. But with this powder, I like to use something fluffy and just like kind of gently tap it into the skin. That's kind of been like my best case scenario, my best use scenario. So let me just wrap up my thoughts here because I think I have kind of talked about everything that I would like to discuss about this powder. I like this powder a lot. I really do. However, I don't think if you have oily skin that this will be enough for you. If you have oily skin and you are really needing something to mattify down, you need it to feel that you have completely, not like 
mattified and took all life out of your face but if you just need something that's very matte i just don't think this powder is gonna be for you if you have dry skin i think you're gonna love it like i think you are really going to love it i just think it makes your skin look a little bit filtered a little bit perfected and because of the ingredients and the humectants and all of the beautiful things that are happening ingredient wise it just feels like it's designed with people who have dry skin in mind and i do feel not in a negative way but i do feel that west Metelier really caters to like skin that is aging and i do think that like often dry skin and aging coincide and not always that's not like not an exclusive thing but i do think that coincides often so i do think that people who have aging skin or are concerned about like powders looking really heavy on them because they have dry skin or aging skin i think you're gonna really get on with this powder because i have oily skin i really do like the finish of this but i don't think i'm ever gonna be able to use it exclusively as my only powder but i do think if you have oily skin like me which is my skin's fairly oily but you don't love the matte finish of things i think this powder I think you would get on with this powder but like i could not see myself taking this powder out as like my touch-up powder i would take this one out and this just controls shine just a little bit better for me i can't firmly say that this is like a powder that i'd be like this is my be all end all powder this is the powder that does everything for me because it's just not a powder that can do everything for me and my needs with powder but i do think it's a very beautiful product i think there are people out there who are going to really really love this product and i think that's it i just have a couple more things to say i got really discombobulated with the power going out so here's just a little graph little table to compare the westman atelier to some other powders and i just did it you know how much that powder costs how many grams you get and then the price per gram you can see that the west Metelier is really expensive compared to a lot of other things so that's really up to you to make that call whether or not it's worth 75 dollars i also wanted to say coinciding with this thought that i forgot to mention that it's supposed to be refillable but they're not selling the refills yet so i'm very curious about how much those refills are gonna cost i don't know that i would buy it 75 dollars with the compact again but depending on how much the refills are i could see myself perhaps buying refills so that's just a thought to leave you with before i sign off i'm sorry if everything felt just a little bit in a disarray i feel a little bit in a disarray i'm not gonna lie to you i'm <laughs> that stressed me out that the power went out in the middle of recording which is like i don't know that that's ever happened to me especially because it was so nice out i had plans of taking footage of some other stuff in natural lighting but i guess i'm not gonna do that because it's raining thank you so much for watching if you are new to my channel and you aren't subscribed and you enjoyed today's review i would love to have you subscribe make sure to check out some of my other content to just really catch the vibe see what i do here i would really appreciate you sticking around make sure you like this video before you leave critical sass live is going to be this wednesday at 7 30 p.m we have a ketchup roulette to talk about it's going to be a blasty blast <laughs> and finally if you could please vote for me in best of pittsburgh i would really appreciate it again that's all linked down below if you would like to vote if you've already voted again thank you so much to my lovely patrons thank you so much for supporting me on patreon and remember to follow your hoat and you will find me thank you so much i will see you in my next video bye Friends.